In the next couple of videos, we're going to talk about comparison tests for series. We've learned that in most cases, it is really difficult to calculate the exact sum of a conversion series. Fortunately, usually we don't need to know the sum, and we just need to know if the series is convergent or divergent. So we are going to develop two tests which can be used with many series, not all series, but with many series to determine if they're convergent or divergent. And they're called the comparison test and the limit comparison test. In this video, we're gonna use the comparison test. And in the next video, we'll talk about the limit comparison test. So some quick review of algebra. If I have two positive numbers, if uh, one is bigger than the other, so if B is bigger than A, then when I take the reciprocals, the direction of the inequality sign is flipped. So if A is less than B, one over A is greater than one over B. And the same idea, if A were greater than B, then the reciprocal one over A would be less than one over B. And as a general rule, if I have positive terms, if I increase the size of the fraction, then I have uh, decreased the overall value of the fraction. And again, as long as I'm dealing with positive terms, if I make the denominator smaller, the whole fraction gets bigger. And let's review this comparison test for low bridges, which we talked about when we did the comparison test for integrals. The same logic holds true. If I've got a big truck and I got a small truck, I've got a low bridge that they need to go under. Well, what can I say? You're thinking about going under the bridge, meaning being convergent. If the big truck can pass under the bridge, then the small truck can definitely pass as well. So if the terms of one series is larger than the, or are larger than the terms of another series, if the larger series is convergent, we'll know the smaller series is convergent as well. And on the other hand, if the small truck cannot fit under the bridge, there's no way the big truck will fit. So if I have two series and the terms of one series are larger than the terms of the other series. If the smaller of the series or the terms, excuse me, the series with the smaller terms is divergent, then certainly the series with the larger terms will need to be divergent as well. But there are other cases where we can't make any conclusion. If the small truck fits under the bridge, well, the big truck may or may not fit. So we're going to make sure we have our inequality going the right way. In other words, if I have two series, one series has terms which are all smaller than the corresponding terms in the other series. If the smaller series is convergent, we can make no conclusion about the convergence of the larger series. And conversely, if uh, the big truck can't fit under the bridge, you can't make any conclusion about the small truck. It might fit. So again, if you have a series with terms that are bigger and it's divergent, you can't make any conclusion about the series with the smaller terms. It may or may not be convergent. So let's write that down formally. Um, suppose I have two series and they both have to have positive terms. So that's a limitation for our comparison test checks. Uh, we need to have series with positive terms. Uh, if B, the series with the BN terms is convergent and AN is smaller than BN, so the corresponding terms of AN are smaller than the terms in bn, then um, the smaller series is convergent as well. 
Now notice that we only need the terms to be smaller, starting from some finite value. So it doesn't have to be starting at one. Uh, the terms may not even be defined at one. Or maybe the first for the first few terms, a sub n is actually bigger than b sub n. But if eventually and forever afterwards, the a sub n term is smaller than the corresponding b sub n term, and b sub n is convergent, then the a sub n series is also convergent. So now, on the other hand, if b sub n is the smaller series of a series with the smaller terms, and it's divergent, so now we see that a sub n is actually larger than b sub n, then a sub n has to be divergent as well. Let's look at some examples. We'd like to discuss the convergence or divergence of the series of n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over 2 to the power of n plus 1. Well, we know that 2 to the power of n plus 1 is bigger than 2 to the power of n. That's true for all values of n. So if I take the reciprocal, I'll have to change the inequality sign. And that's actually a good thing. These terms are smaller than 1 over 2 to the n, which I could think of as being 1 half to the power of n. And so that would mean that I have a convergent geometric series. Its terms are larger than the given series. So since the given series has smaller terms than the convergent series, then we can conclude that it's also convergent by the comparison test. And so again, I wanna emphasize Whenever you discuss the convergence or divergence of a series or an improper integral, you have to give a reason. Well, how do you know? Why is it convergent? So here, I put it down. We're using the comparison test. In fact, I've shown all the work that's necessary for the comparison test. So I said that, oh, this is convergent by the comparison test. And what else do I need to know? Oh, it's smaller than a convergent geometric series. Let's look at another example. Uh, we could use the integral test with this one, but let's try to use a comparison test. In this case, uh, we have natural log of k over k. And uh, I suspect that and since I have something like 1 over k, um, and that's a harmonic series, I expect this is going to be a divergent series. So how does it compare to 1 over k? Well, natural log has base e, so natural log of e equals 1, and e is about 2.7. And the natural log function is increasing. So what does that mean? That means if k is bigger than the base e, so in this case, k being bigger than or equal to 3, because k is an integer, uh, then we can say that the natural log of k is going to be bigger than 1, which means that natural log of k over k is going to be bigger than 1 over k itself. So we're starting at k equals 3 here. That's fine. If I needed to start at k equals 30, that would be fine as well. It really matters what happens as you continue to go into the tail of the series. So now we can say this the series with terms 1 over k is divergent. That's my harmonic series. So by the comparison test, the sum from k equals 1 to infinity of natural log of k over k must also be divergent. And again, I'm giving my reasoning here. I've shown all my work. 
I have stated that the smaller series or the series with the smaller terms is divergent. And I'm going to use the comparison test. So we're going to end this video here. And we're going to create a separate video for the limit comparison test.